This video is going to show you a Hello World application in Android Studio. I uh, clicked on New Project. I will give the application a name. Pay attention to the description at the bottom of this window. It will tell you about any errors that you have and give you an explanation of what the different fields are for. Uh, I had a previous project, so I'll just delete that. Normally you wouldn't have to mess with it. Uh, it's going to give a little bit of an error about the package name, but like I said, we're not going to change any of this for now. Uh, you can feel free to poke around and look at it, but we'll just leave it all as the default and we'll cover what it's all about in the future. So I'm just going to next all the way through here and I will jump ahead to when the project is actually created because depending on the speed of your system, it might take a while. Once it actually gets created, click on project on the left side to open up the file. The only folder you should have to mess with is the SRC source folder and the code itself is going to be under Java and the main activity.java and then the graphical user interface is going to be under layout activity main XML. I'm going to make this window a little bit bigger so you can see it. And again we're going to get into uh, what the palette is all about and the component tree and the properties all in the future but just for now, I want to make sure you can get this up and running. And to run it, we're going to run it in an Android virtual device, which we manage through this icon. And you might need to create a device, or you might already have one. Uh, if you see, I've already got a few on here. Um, there's a problem with some of them from Eclipse. There's a, one working one. You can just go to New, and... I'll just choose the first few things here. If you have a problem with this, check the, the documentation. There's, um, might need to download and install some additional things. The name doesn't really matter. just want something descriptive. I like to put the, you know, the name of the device and the, the API level within the name. All right, once you have a virtual device, you click on the green triangle to run it. And then it'll ask you... Uh, which virtual device you want to run it in, if it's an, one that's already running, or if you need to start a new virtual device. This is a way to emulate a Android phone or tablet or something on your computer. So you might have to launch an emulator if one's not already running, or if you do have one running, you can choose the running one, as uh, I happen to already have one. And again, once you start the virtual device, it might take a, a long time, depending on your um, your computer, how much memory it has and processor and all that. So if there's a problem, you can always come back and, and run it again and launch the virtual device again. And I'll show you what you might see in the virtual device. My virtual device is running and the application might just pop up like this. And if it does, great. Everything's <coughs> working as it should. Uh, sometimes it will launch, but it will go to like the home screen or something and then you might be able to get to your app through the apps icon on the on the home screen so click on that and, and check for it there then you're ready to start playing and adding new things